Hey guys, good morning. Welcome here to Old St. Augustine. Ripley's. We're gonna believe it. Or not. Or not. We're here in St. Augustine at the Ripley's uh, Believe It or Not Museum. Actually the first one. At one point it was a, a mansion, but then Robert got it and he's decided to make it into a museum. There's a lot of loud scooters all of a sudden. Just, you know, decided to come by, so that's pretty cool. But also, uh, first off, we're gonna go get some coffee. There's a cool place here in St. Augustine called City Perks. So we're gonna walk down there, then we're gonna, gonna come back and see the curiosities and oddities inside of there. Let's go get some coffee. All right, let's go in here and get some coffee. Out on the main strip here, right across from an old fort. City Perks. done. Let's go back to the museum. Alright, and just like that, we're back here at the museum. We're going to go inside of St. Augustine Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. You can believe that. But first, what is this right here? This is a log. It's a big log. You can see a real log right there. There's the bark falling apart because it's pretty old. They have these metal bars, straps, to help hold it in place so it doesn't fall apart. This friendly looking guy here is holding the sign. So you see, this is a four room house hand carved from a, a redwood log. It's over 1900 years old. It's an old log. I think we're gonna go inside. There's some facts there if you wanna pause the video and take a look at that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go in. Ooh. Oh, wow. So it looks like this is the bedroom. Uh, it, it was out back. What is it? Look at this. This is carved out. This is crazy. Watch your head. It is uh, not made for, not that I'm super tall, but I'm a little tall. You gotta watch your head on these things. There's a pine cone. It's hard to see. But anyways, inside of there, believe me or not, there's a pine cone inside of there. That's a big one, probably from the old redwood tree. That seems like a dangerous thing to have in a in a log house. Oh, you can hear it. Can you hear that? Hmm. But anyways, here we are. See, you have to duck under here because it's even standing up. Like I said, I'm not super tall, but I'm, you know, a little bit tall. My head is right up in here. Look at there, things. This is pretty neat. Oh, there's your, here's where you eat breakfast. This is, this is how this works. It is tight quarters in here. It's, it's two seats, but I, I'd say there's really only room for one. Let's go back out. Ugh. So there it was. Log house. Let's see some more oddities inside. All right, here's where we'll walk in under this marquee. This is what this place was called. This was the Castle Warden. So, before old Robert Ripley bought it. Good morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Ooh, in we go. One right off the bat. Well, look at that. That's a interesting taxidermy. Huh. And here's the man right here, old Robert Ripley. The reason why we're here, not like all here, but the reason why we're here at, at this place here. Thanks, Rob. It's really cool in here. It's already like some pretty cool stuff. This is just where you walk in. And some say this place could be haunted. And as I was saying earlier, this is a, originally a, an actual residence, or was, by William Warden, which is one of the founding partners in the Standard Oil Company. He did spare no expense, as indicated by this beautiful stained glass window right here. 
pretty sure not everybody on the block had one of these. I mean, you know, or a castle for that, for that matter. Up these stairs. Let's go this way. This hallway, there's something special about this hallway here. Ooh. Not even talking about the spooky voices up overhead. But they're, they're just, it looks like it's really far down there, right? It's actually not that far. As we go down, the ceiling is getting lower. I don't know if you can see that. Look, I, I'm, you see like, you, you're gonna see what this is like. It looks normal, but as I walk, watch what happens. See, this, this didn't shrink. I didn't grow. Or actually, it did get smaller. Forced perspective. It's pretty cool. Believe it. <laughs> or not. One of the many most famous things, one of the many famous things of Robert Ripley's, I don't know if it's his design or his idea, the old Fiji mermaid. Freaky and beautiful and ugly all at the same time. It's a face only a mother could love. That's it, that's the old Fiji mermaid, world's greatest fake. Is it fake? Believe it. Or not. And just a little warning for the squeamish, you may want to turn away from the screen if you, uh, if you don't like bugs. We've got these little caricatures made from cockroaches. Isn't that, isn't that fun? That one's cool there. Huh. And that guy back there. These are made from cockroaches. So that's, that's pretty gross. Here we've got some ancestor heads from New Guinea. Here, let me get in there a little bit. Look at them eyes. Let's see as this guy comes around. Oh yeah, that's pretty weird. And as you might be able to tell from the narration above, there is a shrunken head, a real, a real shrunken head. That's pretty, that is so weird. Right next to it, there's this weird thing that apparently is made from human skin. It's a human skin mask. Why do people do this? This is really weird. Tell you what, you can believe that or not. Oh man, here we are at Ripley's. Eat it or not. What do you think? Finger foods, anyone? Food for thought? Yeah, because that's a skull. Because you think, you know, food for thought, get it? That's a... Cobbly Skull Bowl. And you have your morning cereal in there. You can order here a tropical tarantula taco. No thanks. I'll pass. We just ate. We just, well, we didn't eat, but we just had some coffee, so. Not today. And here we have another room where we've got some. It's like an erector set of space things. Ooh. Is, that, is that Boba Fett? Boba Fett has a little more than. I bargained for. Oh, uh, whoop. Don't look there. Oh, uh, looks here. You can test some shuttle sounds. Check that out. Let's see. Let's do some. Let's do this test fire. Here we've come to the old farm section where you can see some fun animals. See, there we got a, a two headed lamb. Check that out. Let's do a little lamb there, buddy. Double the cuteness. Right behind him, we got Mike the old headless chicken. Get another two-headed creature here. It's a rabbit. So you can see both forwards and backwards at the same time. No sneaking up on that guy. Speaking of sneaking up on people, check this guy out. Got a little something extra. That's one way to get a leg up on life. And a staple for any Ripley's is definitely Robert Wadlow. There's a photo here showing him. Man, look how much taller he is than these grown men. Here he is at 18 years old. He was eight feet five and a half pounds, 435 pounds. That's a that's a big dude. Look at that. There he is. And dun 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 dun. dun. And it's way up there. I mean, just look, look at the difference. Here's me. Here's me. There's him. That's, that's scary. Speaking of scary, what the heck? 
back Robert there. Somebody hiding the back there. And died at the age of 22. The skeleton dude. What the heck? Believe it. Or not. There have been many. He's really shocked about something. That's pretty weird to do that. It's the eyeball popper, man. That's a weird thing to do. Like, who would have thought of that? Let me see what happens if I put this snake in my nose. Let's see if I can get it to come out of my mouth. Can't forget about old Crocodile Man. He looks so vicious. I don't know why he looks so mean, even without his teeth. He looks like a mean man. But then, he replaced all of his teeth with crocodile teeth. What a weird thing to do. Believe that or not. Check this out. This is supposedly the ball from Apollo 14 that was driven on the moon. Right there, that one. It says so right there. I'll, I'll believe it. I mean, they're saying saying it's true, so I'm gonna believe it. Check out that dragon there. This is, this is made from camel bone, apparently. This whole sculpture here, which is really crazy looking. Actually, that almost looks like the Death Star. Actually, so there's a little premonition there. Dragons and Death Stars. Ooh, here we've got an Egyptian mummified hand. Look at that. Definitely piquing my curiosities with their oddities. Recognize this guy? Take a second look. You might even have a, a portrait of him in your pocket. This is the same guy as on the old penny. This is Abraham Lincoln. This is a life mask. This is pretty neat. You've heard of a death mask. This is a life mask. This is the only authentic life mask taken of President Abraham Lincoln. That's pretty crazy. They said uh, that he was complaining that his eyes were burning as they were doing this. I don't know what type of material they used, but probably wasn't too comfortable. Here's an interesting little case here. There's some petrified peanuts. How about that? That's pretty weird. I would not think there was petrified peanuts. There's a uh, dino turd. That's weird. Oh, uh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, Check this out. This moose, during a, the winter of 94, he crashed his head through a cabin window in search of food, trapped by his antlers. He couldn't get back out and he eventually froze to death, right there, still standing. Poor guy. Man. Uh, no, sorry. Looks like you ate it all. Huh, okay, well, open if you dare. I mean, why the heck not? Let's see what's inside. Right, just for the record, one thing I do not like is spiders. And this here is one giant spider. I'm not a fan of this. I don't even know why I'm this close to it. Look. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Speaking of, like, creatures and things, looks like we can look at some of Florida's backyard beasts. We can look at some of Florida's backyard beasts in here. Oh, ooh, there's some things in here. Let's go check this out. Oh, look at this guy. This is a Mr. Campos, Puerto Rican contortionist. Can't really tell if he's coming or going. They do say this place is haunted, but there was a tragedy in the castle. 1944, this place caught fire. Two women died. Neither of them were burned, but they uh, they died from suffocation from the smoke fumes. To this day, many people claim to see the ghost of Miss Betty Richardson and Miss Ruth Pickering, both found dead in their bathtubs roaming this very hallway. Believe it? Or not? This very hallway here? We're in the hallway. Uh, <gasps> oh, she was just right here. She was just right here. Did we see a ghost? Believe it. Or not. It's kind of scary. You're gonna make your skin crawl. All right, you can't put your hands down here, but you're supposed to put your hands in this circle and stare at this thing for like 20 seconds. You're gonna stare, you're gonna stare at these things for like 20 seconds, right? 
starting now, and then as soon as you're done, just stare at the center, keep looking, but as soon as you're done, look away at something, look at your hand, and I promise you, your hand is going to be moving, warping, globuli like jello. Whoa. Look at Whoa. it. Whoa. That is weird. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. How about these uh, spinning circles? So apparently you gotta focus on the dot in the center and move your head back and forth. Let's see if this works even on video. Are you ready? Here we go. Is it working? Is it, is it working? Moving sounds. And let's see if this works. I'm gonna hold it still. Hold the camera still and see if this actually works. Try. This one. Go ahead, you to work here on a professional dancer's body. Will you look into your song or just make funny faces and have a glorious time? It, it works here. Hope it works for you too. Well, what's all this about? Well, I guess we're going to go through a vortex here. Are you going to make it? <laughs> Here goes nothing. This is definitely weird. It's like the room is turning. Does anybody else feel that? Oh, I can do this. I am, oh, yes, made it. St. <laughs> Augustine Ripley's Believe It or Not, the original Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. I gotta say, it was pretty cool. There's a lot of neat different things in there. Some things, I believe, I believe all of them. You can believe them or not, but I'm gonna believe all of them. You know, I'm just gonna, just gonna believe it. Just gonna believe. Just gotta believe. It's horse here. That's uh, apparently, that's made out of bumpers. I believe it. If you're down in this area, definitely come check it out. It's a lot of, a lot of fun. There's a lot of neat things in there. It's haunted, so they say. So, you might see a ghost or two. That's pretty cool. If you liked it, um, make sure and give it the old thumbs up. Share with all your friends so they can see what cool things you can do, they can do, like we did here in St. Augustine. Anyways, thanks for coming along. We'll see you in the next one. As far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.